We are pro five wise, but not for the reason that most people are pro five wise. People that are conventional five Y users truly believe that the root cause is the answer to the fifth Y question. So there are pro five Y people that we think confuse five Ys. And then there are groups that are militant anti five Y that say it's a super bad idea. The people that are positive that five Ys is a method, we would kind of challenge that model a little bit. And the people that are anti five Y is we definitely challenge uh, that, that model. The cool thing about a five Y is it happens right after a four Y and just before a six Y, but there's nothing special about five Ys. The incident doesn't know it's only got five parts. The incident has all of its parts. Your, your incidents are different magnitudes. So your smaller incidents are smaller investigations. Your bigger incidents, you do a lot more digging. You can start with a one Y and then you go to two, three, four. It's like if you run a marathon, you have to take the first step and then the second step and the third. And if you're in a 5K versus marathon, you just gotta take more steps. Your big incidents are made up of your smaller incidents. So you get huge leverage on working smaller issues. That's why that 5Y approach is so helpful for frontline because they're kind of your tier one problem solvers.